Hey guys, what is up, it's Lee here again and welcome to a new video. Now before I start the actual video, which is going to be a bank video, I just want to mention to you guys that from now on I'm going to chill out in my actual clan chat. So if I can find the right one, here we go. Um, I'm always going to be in my CC, so if you guys want to contact me, talk or chill out, then I'm always going to be in there. Um, just thought I'd give you guys a heads up on where I'm going to be um, if you need to contact me. Um, so yeah guys, that is all from me, um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, what is up, it's Lee here, and welcome to a new video. Now I thought I'd make a bank video, seeing that I haven't made one in quite some time. Plus, I'm sure you guys would want to see what my bank looks like with no party hat, and get after getting 200 mil magic. So I'm going to jump straight into the bank right now. So we've got the first tab, which was the same as my previous bank video, all my skill capes lined up in the order that I got them and my most recent cape is the divination one as most of you guys probably seen the video when I got 99 and got my max and completionist cape back so uh, yeah that's pretty awesome and uh, that is tab 1 basically a major bank space waste but you know there we go I just like looking at them now and again so uh, on to tab 2 and this is my farming slash skilling tab now I'm sure most of you guys all have a skilling tab, so this is my one. I um, set it out quite a little bit different to the majority of other people's banks. Um, it is the majority of farming supplies and the, at the top, um, merged with a little bit of hunter, hunter um, equipment here and there. And also we've got all the energies from basically 1 to level 95 divination. Got a dragon pickaxe for mining. Uh, dueling ring, don't know why that's in there, that should be in my uh, magic tab, or my runes tab, but there we go. Got the uh, full lumberjack um, woodcutter's outfit, um, the flame gloves, the inferno adds, and the witch doctor mask, which is po possibly my most favourite item in the game. I do like that mask, it's just, you know, it makes me laugh and chuckle when I see it and see other players with it on it. You know, it's, it's a good mask, I like it. Also got my 330, well, 350k. Um, broad arrows and stuff for fletching. So yeah, that's quite nice to have when you feel like bank standing, but you can still gain XP at the same time. You know that is um, a nice thing to have, and obviously it is expensive. But if you've got the money, then why not? And obviously it's extra XP as well, trying to get me to that one build total XP overall. So my third tab is my junk tab, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have one of these. So here is mine. Um, at the start we've got vials, 84 mil vials, it's still the same number as last time I believe, or quite a few quite a few more or quite a few less, I'm not sure. Then I've got some food here, and then items which do look cool, you know, in the white writing, because I've got over 100,000 of them. 1.7 mil broad arrows fletched, and they are all untradeable, so uh, yeah, <laughs> there must be about oh, 100 mil, 100 mil plus in broad arrows there, I'm not qu quite sure on the um, cost at the moment, so that's just a rough e estimate there. Got um, 119k royal bolts, which at the time I think I paid for them at like, I don't know, 9 mil or something, 9, 10 mil. Got two gnome scarfs and two gnome goggles. I know these are like over 5 mil now, so yeah, that's quite crazy. Got um, almost 30k gold ore that I've mined all from 99 mining, um, as I said that in my previous bank video. And then just got some Squeal of Fortune stuff, Dragon Keeps 8 keys. I bought a few of them just to see what I could wear in, uh, you know, dungeon stuff, cool outfits. And I've still got three spare. Um, Dragon Offenders, which are useless now. I'm just keeping them for the hate, uh, for the sake of it anyway. Got my uh, Clan Vexilum, Clan Cloaks, and Orb of Oculus for videos. Um, got some double eye patches. These look really cool. They look like um, sunglasses. Got some navy slacks, a trick trickster robe, um, D Dominion Marker Stage 4. That's a fully upgraded one. Got a random court summons, some uh, Castle Wars um, tickets. Now I'm uh, going to tell you guys now, um, a few people are asking me if I'm going for trim. If they allow fletching in castle wars, I will go for trim. That is the only way I'm going to go for trim. Other than that, I'm not going to bother. So uh, yeah, that's that one sorted. Got um, Duelist's Cap Tier 6, which requires uh, 5k wins. Um, and then just some other random stuff here. Got a D&D token for Troll Invasion. I recently used one token for um, this month, so I could gain twice the amount of Divination XP. Um, so that's quite cool. And then I've got a few stayer things here, which, you know, just thrown in this tab for the hell of it. And also my Charming Imp, which is awesome, collects charms for me, saves me picking up so I can AFK more. So that's all good. So yeah, that is my uh, junk tab. Now moving on to tab 4, which is my Chaotic tab and uh, Ports tab. So um, to start off with, we've got some um, 
ancient ceremonial for necks and stuff. Got my void, um, sort of all set out there. Um, got my chaotix. I think that I've got all the chaotix. Uh, I'm not too sure now. I'm not sure if they brought out another off hand for anything. Um, two arcane streams. Got my agile. Got my all of my achievement diary armor. Um, Try to put it in order as well. You know, from head to uh, boots. To be honest, but I don't really think I'm like. No, that should be there. That should be there. Anyway, I've um, got my Damonheim Aura. That is for completing all the um, Damonheim or Dungeoneering tasks. Um, got my Spirit Cape. Got my Frozen Key for next. Bone Crusher for when I'm doing Dagonoth or Slayer in general. And then I've got all the port armor. Um, and yeah, I haven't really been to ports since. I should be stocking up doing ports for resources because I know they're going to do another update and it's going to require um, us to get our Completionist Cape back. But, you know, I'm just lazy like that. I'll only do it if I've got the incentive to do it, or the update to do it. So, yeah, I've got all the um, port armor. That, um, this is the un untradeable version as well. And I'm not going to go back to ports until they update it. Um, and then we've got 1 million Redshim Chompers, which I recently bought, which I'm going to be using for range. Um, because the plan is that um, how I got 200 mil magic, I trained at the Abyss um, for, I think, 150 mil of the XP. I got 50 mil XP for at um, no sorry I got I think 40 mil XP doing Dagonoths um, when they were unnerfed, which was awesome that you could just sit there and gain like 400 crims per hour. But the plan is now, well um, now since they nerfed it, you really need a cannon there um, so you can get the aggression of the Dagonoths from far away um, and get the Dagonoths that way. But with a cannon and with the red chin chompers I'll be gaining range XP save me training defense there because I was going to train like 200 mil defense there and get crims um, for 200 mil summoning but I thought may as well use a cannon and use red chin chompers and sort of get my range XP quite high and they're uh, racking some decent amount of charms as well so yeah that's probably going to be the plan I'll um, just examine them there uh, 1 million red chin chompers so uh, you know it is le uh, legit, only I think paid 160 mil around about that for them, so uh, that's not too bad. Um, and moving on to my fifth tab, which is my summoning supplies and summoning pouches tab. So uh, yeah, basically in order of levels I think these are, um, and obviously the most used ones are the ones that I have the most of, like Pack Yak, Steel Titan and Unicorn Stallion. All the others are just there for looks really, and also I've got the... Uh, scrolls to represent the pouches which is also awesome um, I've got all these bird eggs and um, black dragon eggs from um, well I got them eggs from Slayer and I got the birds eggs from woodcutting when I was getting them getting the nests and stuff got uh, just an odd amount of pouches that I used from my last summoning session um, got some pets here that aren't fully grown so I can't put them in my house otherwise I would and I just can't be bothered training them up so they're 100% grown um, I've got some uh, charms here. I think this is around just just above 20 mil summoning XP bank um, in charms, which is pretty awesome. I'm holding off the charms, waiting or hoping for a bonus XP weekend because if so, then it'd get me past 70 mil total XP in summoning, which um, would be absolutely epic. Got um, Yak Hide banked for the Crimson charms and the Water Talismans banked for the Blue charms gonna need to buy some more water talismans but I can do that nearer to the time and I've um, just got 369 379k uh, spirit shards uh, just you know an odd amount from my last summoning session along with the pouches um, on to tab 6 which is my runes tab and magic tab so here are all the runes um, have over 100k of all elemental runes um, just so it looks quite snazzy really. Got 65k deaths and 50k blood left from when I was doing 200 mil magic. So yeah, they're the runes that I have left. Started with like 1.5 mil fire runes as well and I've got 506k of them left. Um, so I've burnt through quite a few of them. I've got all my tele tabs in the middle. Um, you know, quite nice. All the modified ones below the ones that are buyable from the GE. So yeah, that's quite handy to have. I've um, got Ganodermic, which I don't use anymore, I'm not really sure what to use it for. Um, got some random rings and jewellery down here, got a Zamrox book which is uh, filled up with all the pages. And yeah, that's about it for the magic tab. It is a bit messy, but you know, um, it's a pain in the arse sorting out all the rings and stuff. 
because of the one charges, four charge, three charges. But there we go. And on to tab seven, which is my Herblore tab. So I recently bought enough supplies for just over 2k overloads because as you can see I'm down to 20 flasks worth from getting 200 mil mage. So yeah, that, um, magic has drained my overload stack quite a bit. Along with obviously going for the 1000 god walls bosses kills. That has also drained quite a few overloads but obviously the profit in the long run has been quite cool. Um, also I've got 35k adrenaline potions which I made... Uh, prior to getting 99 herb and this was way before EOC um, which they were called uh, spec restores if any of you guys remember that and um, I made them 499 herb and um, that was the cheapest method back in the day and I was a poor noob then as well otherwise I would have made overloads and saved myself a lot more money in the long run but you know I didn't see that back then <laughs> but there we go um, I think these herb supplies here cost around 80 mil Tour stalls for some reason are like 5k each, but the dwarf weeds and stuff are like 8k, 9k each, it doesn't make sense. And then lower down the bank in the herb tab we've got all potions which are basically 1 dose, 5 dose, just all undercanted potions which I, I'm just too lazy and after finishing a bossing trip I just bank all the potions in here. Now onto my, well I'm going to skip tab 8 for now, uh, I'm sure you guys know why. But I'm going to go on to tab 9, which is my PVM tab and gear tab. Um, so here we go, we've got the cash, which is just over 1.1 bill. Um, obviously I sold my party app for cash, and obviously I, with that cash I spent it on um, runes for magic, because I had a red party app and like 30 mil cash. So I thought I'd sell the red party app, buy a yellow party app, um, which I sold um, I think later that week for just pure cash so I don't have to worry about an item going up or down. So I've got pure cash which I can spend in any way I like, which is nice. I'll just examine it for you as well. And then I've got all items at the top, I've got two of which is like cool bank spaces, got two curies, ranger set, uh, ring set. I need to get these imbued but I'm too lazy to sit at mobilizing armies and you know, doing nothing, not gaining any XP. Um, I've got master wand, um, or three master wands. Uh, two Zami Spears that I used for Corp, Deno, I, th I think they're still used for Corp, yeah, so that's up there, but they're nice to have. Got um, Spirit Shield set, apart from the Spectral, because it's just useless, no point having it. Well, they all, they're all they all useless now, but, <laughs> you know, Spectral is just the one you don't want to have. Um, I've got a full Pernix set, including boots and gloves. Got uh, a Royal Crossbow, a Zarite bow, which I recently bought as well, um, with the cash I have. Um, got Virtus Mask, uh, top and legs. Don't have the boots and gloves because I just prefer using Rage Fires and Barrows gloves, don't know why. Um, I've got my Virtus Wand and Book, got my two sets of Barrows gloves, got some more Magic Armor that you get from Azami and which I use for Slayer and Training Magic. Well, I did use it for Training Magic. Got, um, Drygore Rapier set, Drygore Mace set, full tour of it with the boots and gloves my lovely completionist cape which I recently got back and yeah that is it for tab 9 on my uh, PVM tab uh, well my uh, gear tab sorry now um, I, I've been thinking about showing you guys this tab for quite some time discussing it with a few friends as well whether or not I should show it you but obviously with this being a bank video I'm gonna have to so here is tab 8 which is my PVM my current PVM tab that I have all gained from the loot series that I've been doing and um, you know all of that really goes in here um, so yeah let's get straight onto it so we've got a bit of Slayer stuff at the top, Cannon and Cannonballs which I've been using for Dagonos for Crimson Charms got 4.2k Dreadnips and some Dominion Tower Bombs which I've just kept in here because they look quite cool got a load of seeds that I've received from PBM uh, Dwarf Weed seeds especially from um, Armadil Boss same with the Herbs um, Grimmy, uh, Grimy Laden Time and Torstals I've been getting from QBD as I am uh, just over, I think, with bones, 880 dragon bones, which is, what, 110 queen black dragons I've killed. So yeah, that is my prog progress so far on the QBD kills since getting my comp cape back. I am on 110 out of 1000. Um, got some miscellaneous loot that you get from Bandos Sara, which are, Bandos Sara, which are, you, um, if you go for a long trip, they are worth picking up because they do end up stacking up in the long run. Got some pure S that I've gained from glacials and stuff like that. Got these uh, magic logs and U logs are from QBD and Bandos. 
Um, obviously some hides here. Blue Dragon Hides, uh, the Royal D Hide, the Blue Dragon Hides from the Glacials if you guys are wondering, and the Royal D Hide is from QBD. Got some ores here which are from basically all three of the God Wars bosses and QBD as well. Um, got some rune items um, further down, got some rune bars, um, some um, gems and stuff, crystal keys, got bolts as well, arrows, some dragon items, some org bones I killed. I did kill 1,001 band losses just so that I could take the bones out and it'd say 1,000. <laughs> so yeah, that's just like a little bank space I have there. Um, all these rune items, all from majority of them are from Asara and Bandos, which is awesome. We've um, got some shards here. Um, you know, the shards are quite inconsistent and obviously they're hard to see on the floor when you do get them. So I have missed a couple, so give or take two or three shards. Um, I've got uh, basically three full armadillo sets there. Uh, not including the gloves, only one pair of gloves. Um, but yeah, two hilts, um, two armadillo hilts, two sardomen hilts, and two bandos hilts. Um, that is quite strange, but you know, that is quite cool at the same time. Um, got these amulets from Sara, which um, I think I gained seven or six or seven of them. Um, well, six or seven hisses from when I completed the 1000 kills, and I did do another th I think 500 kills after that so yeah that is why they're a bit that's why I do have more than probably what I had in my loot from a thousand Sora Domains um, got some Sora swords, armadillo crossbows, they're the same um, I did kill more so I did get I think two or three more crossbows than I did in the thousand kills um, Glacial boot set now I have re only received two pairs of Glavens so the two steads and the two rage fires and also um, two Glaven boots are mine that I have bought but um, I've just put them in here because they do look cool amongst all the PVM um, loot and obviously because they are from Glacials. Two Armadillo Battle Staffs which I made on my Glacial video and we've got the Bandos items down at the bottom because that is one of my most recent videos that I've done or bosses that I've completed. Um, eight War Shields which in the video I was disappointed about getting but you know it's an item nonetheless. And also um, past that we've got items that we have gained from QBD since they have started. So two dragon upgrade kits, uh, two uh, t uh, royal springs, one royal sight, and four royal bolt stabilizers. No visages just yet, but um, you know I'm high hopes for a visage. Still got 900, no 890 kills to go, so hopefully I can get my first ever visage, um, which will be awesome. So um, that is it for the bank video, guys. I'm not really going to do a price checker because um, you know prices vary so much. Um, over time and stuff like that, but um, you know, an estimate I'd say possibly three bill. Um, I don't know. That's just a number off the top of my head. And I know I've definitely got over max cash worth of gear, coins, and you know items and stuff in my bank. So I'm just going to say three bill because my I think my last bank video was I don't know three point two bill, three point one bill, three point two bill. Um, so yeah, guys. That is it from me. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the PVM tab. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.